so thank you for the uh, visiting the channel and subscribing and liking and commenting on this channel so as we i have told you for the starting system i will come in three videos so first uh, we have given the starting system overview where we have seen the what are the different components which are used for the starting system now i will tell you what is the schematic and in this schematic how we make in the capital logic so i hope you have understood all the function of the clutch switch neutral switch relay what is the function of instrument cl cluster why we are giving these splices then ignition switch then relay then fuse and then battery so what exactly we are going to do in the capital logic by this circuit so circuit the concept would be same suppose if you know this thing that is more than enough now what are the parameters we have to give as i told you in the last uh, video in the capital logic uh, sorry capital xc so i have told you different harnesses okay so in that different harnesses i told you you have to give in the capital logic uh, you know to make the identification of that particular wire that particular wire from where to where it is traveling so that's why we have to identify that okay this particular wire is coming in this harness so, and we have to identify so i just start with this battery so i have given some you know b100 what is the meaning of this b100 so when we are creating the particular circuit so we just give the connector name okay connector name or that particular uh, device name okay so what i did uh, i am going to use here on battery the terminal okay so for that particular terminal i just given this b100 okay b100 this is just for the identification purpose of that particular device okay now i am going to two harness one is engine harness and other is battery harness so i have taken one particular battery harness from this to this and i already told you this in this starter motor there are two part one is solenoid one other one is starter motor okay so from battery to the starter motor the second pin that is our battery cable which is used to uh, give the current to the starter motor because we have to start the engine okay this is all about ice engines okay Uh, or gasoline engines because we are just talking about the starter motor in bv vehicle battery vehicles we do not require all this starting process because we do not have the engine okay okay so moving to this particular um, uh, point from here battery to this one second terminal of this starter motor so for starter motor also i have defined one connector that is d100 i have just taken any random okay it is not uh, uh, you know one particular nomic nomenclature i have followed no it is not like that i have just taken d100 as a random uh, in different different oems uh, people use the different different uh, nomenclature as per their standard so you have no need to worry you have to just uh, understand the concept that you will give one particular ref, uh, you know uh, connector uh, name uh, to that particular uh, connect uh, device okay so suppose d100 i have given so here i am just b positive to second pin so my battery and starter motor both are i consider it is in battery harness so i have given the name on this wire battery harness then i have given something like bp100 so what is bp100 this is the circuit name okay these are the things which you have to do in capital logic uh, this is i am telling uh, regarding the capital logic okay what are the things you have to do okay you have to give the harness name which harness this particular wire is traveling then you have to give the circuit name which what is the circuit name for this one then you have to give the csa wire csa for that particular um, wire okay so i have given suppose 40 or you can give 80 also okay to 40 to 50 ha so th this is the this is the question how to select this wire csa that we will see that we will see based on the current only we decide you know, how much csa we are going to use and after that you might be seeing one letter that is written r and this means red okay and this is nothing but the color of the wire so whatever color you are using for that particular wire you are going to give in this format so i hope you are clear what are the things you have to define in the capital for one particular wire this is single wire you have to define all these things so one more example i take from battery i am going to the engine harness this particular fuse box this particular fuse box is in my engine harness okay this location okay and this is also my battery also suppose i have kept in the engine harness okay suppose you are your battery and your fuse box in a different location suppose my battery is in engine harness but this particular fuse in ip 
or body harness then what you have to do you have to give the one inline connector okay one inline connector what does it mean so this side suppose my engine harness would be there and other side would be some different harness would be there like body harness or ip harness okay so we will see this thing uh, in the coming circuits as well so first you see understand this thing so first this is the circuit circuit name then this is the wire csa then this is the color and then this is the name of this particular harness so these are the things which you have to give then the same thing which i have told you earlier also this is the one fuse i have given the uh, uh, dnum for this particular fuse box itself so generally we don't give the you know uh, one particular uh, fuse that particular uh, uh, you know uh, connector id we don't give like this we give for whole fuse box uh, one particular id i will show you when i will discuss power distribution that how we show the fuse box then from this particular fuse box i am going to the engine harness oh, sorry ip harness this ip harness where this is ignition switch okay this ignition switch is located in ip harness instrument instrument panel so my question is here that when your fuse in engine harness this is my engine harness then you have to must you have to put one inline connector which will connect ip harness and engine harness okay this side would be my engine harness other side would be ip harness i have already told you that what are the inline connectors inline connectors are wire to wire connection where you are moving from one harness to other harness so suppose i am moving from engine harness to ip harness and why i am moving because my ignition switch in ip and my fuse box in engine harness so here also you have to define all those things like circuit then uh, wire color wire csa and the harness name and accordingly you have to change so here also i have just given one example that 2 and 3 is the terminal then ip1 you have to just uh, take the different all every every wire would be a unique circuit okay will be having unique id okay every wire so suppose i have taken ip1000 here then ip1001 uh, i will take here ip1002 i will take here 0.5 is the csa then this is the color and this is the harness name here also the same that uh, circuit name then this is the wire csa then this is the color then i have already told you this thing uh, that you have to take 86 and 85 terminal these are the uh, you know standard terminal on the coil and 30 and 87 on the contact side and this is your relay then this particular uh, switch this particular contact side would be connected to solenoid this would be connected to my clutch or suppose my clutch switch is coming in engine harness then what you have to do again you have to do inline connector you have to put because here it is going from the ip harness so ip to engine harness you have to put one inline connector then this is the same thing then this is one terminal two terminal then we have the uh, nomenclature for this engine harness e1 1003 05 cs then color engine harness the name of the harness then i have taken this ip harness this particular wire uh, in the ip harness because my instrument cluster is coming okay so i have taken this all area in ip so uh, this circuit name accordingly ip 1000 and then 0 0.5 and ip harness then neutral switch and these splices as i already told you why i have given these splices splices is nothing but joint so suppose my circuit is closed then till here this current will come okay till this point i will be getting 12 volt okay so here it will tell okay the clutch switch is closed and it will give the indication in instrument cluster it will tell to the customer or driver that okay that till clutch switch we are good to go but when it will come to neutral switch then this particular connection here you it will not give the 12 volt it will give the zero volt because we are connected to the ground and from ground zero volt we will be having here okay we will be having till here 12 volt but once it will be closed neutral if your vehicle is in neutral position then it will be closed it will uh, if there is no gear uh, sorry if the car is not engaged in gear then it will be closed and it will be neutral situation then it will be 12 volt here okay on this sorry um, this one would be your uh, because here there is no so it would be on uh, zero volt only so we give the uh, you know logic on instrument cluster like active low and active high okay so based on this we we give this particular logic and once it will be you know closed then uh, it will uh, give the uh, value uh, to the uh, instrument cluster and it will define uh, whether it is uh, instrument, your instrument cluster is on or not 
so i hope uh, till here uh, you are uh, good we are good to go if any question you have in this you can ask me so that i can explain again on this so in capital logic as i told you that one wire and then connectors okay on connector would be decided from the device okay so this connector would be having the name like i have given the d100 1000 e also for these devices also if you see i have given so these devices is nothing but the connectors okay so then wire would be having some specification and then it will be connected to the second unit and it will give the overall loop of this uh, particular uh, you know per per particular circuits so i hope uh, uh, i have cleared all the doubts here if still you have some doubts here in this how we are going to you know doing the capital logic i have i will give one uh, practical example to make this type of uh, circuits in capital logic then we will see any uh, any doubt you just uh, drop the comments in uh, drop the comments in the comment section and if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel